Satnam guys, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jean. This is gonna be a pick up all reading to see what is your next level up. What is this next upgrade uh, happening for you? Okay, we have four piles to pick from. For pile number one, bird B, we have this cool copper bracelet. It almost looks like a Conan the Barbarian, uh, like, crown, if you look, if you hold it like that, you see, yes. For pile number two, we have this cool tortoise that I found. Show it, don't put it out of the shot, John. It has a rhino, it has an elephant, it has the leaf. His name is Berry. Very cool tortoise. Look at that pearl. Then for pile number three, I really like tortoi. <laughs> Tortoises. I really like them. Uh, yeah. For pile number three, we have this desert rose. I don't know if you know that sting song. A dream of red. Desert rose. Okay, if you sprinkle water on this, it starts opening up. It starts like unfurling and curling and it like blooms, you know. Until then it stays inactive. And then for pile number four, we have this quartz cluster. Yes. So those are the four piles. Do you see... What is your, what is this upgrade about? What's this level up about? What's happening? What can you expect? Etc. Etc. Pick your ball and I'll see you there. Interesting. Satnam, ball number one. For those of you who picked this copper bracelet slash Conan crown. It looks quite legit, I should say so myself. So, uh, like I very immediately heard it's all for you okay pal number one so everything is for you I feel like I'm getting this like Lion King energy I'm getting this um uh, like pharaonic energy even this like 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 something being bestowed upon you something is being given to you okay and me like throwing this thing around like this, I feel like there's something maybe about your playful nature or something about your ease or something that is significant to the fact that you're receiving this thing. It feels like some kind of ancestral uh, blessing. It feels like some kind of business. It feels like some kind of empire, okay? Six of Swords. Let's see. What's this level up about for file number one? Queen of Pentacles, yo. Hmm. You're definitely about to be financially very successful, okay? But like th this finances energy, this Pentacle energy, it's giving me empire energy. It's giving me something long standing. It's not like if, like, it's not. The king of cups as well this is something you really put a lot of heart and soul into or you're very willing to put a lot of heart and soul into this okay i feel like it's both like like you already did and you're willing to put in more you know like you're willing to put in everything you're about to receive a lot of abundance okay i feel like this is the universe pouring out this love this abundance onto you this abundance, this th these pentacles, like I said, it feels like some kind of empire. If this is a business, this is not a business that you're going to be having for five or ten years. This is a business that your children will probably have. You understand? If you are, like, receiving a new home or something, um, it's not something, it's not even a home that you're just going to be living in for 25 years. This is something that your grandchildren are going to own. Do you understand? This next level up is you are experiencing, it's almost like you're experiencing generational wealth. 
that you built or something or received right now. So it's kind of like, imagine your ancestors two generations back started a very successful company or built a fucking mansion or something and then left it to you. You understand? But you did this. So it's kind of like you're, you're experiencing your fruits bearing immediately as well. Let's continue. The two of cups. The world. Wow. And the four of pentacles. Your, your stability. Yeah. Nine of cups. Six of pentacles. The fool. Your stability is about to skyrocket. Like this is giving me the sense of like. You. Like I'm hearing traffic. Or trafficked. Or something like that. You. You. That's a fear. Okay. Like you might have. Seven of Swords, you might resonate with being like the star, like a generational curse breaker, or like 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 doing something completely different from society or your family, or going at it by yourself, like starting your own business or you know, shit like that, okay? Or the home you built is somewhere in the fucking countryside that like how the fuck will that work, like infrastructure wise or something like that, okay? But this next level up, I feel like this next level up, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, is you're receiving love. You're receiving eternal stability. You're receiving uh, like an eternal home. And it's almost like this home is self-sustaining. It's like having a home and running a business or a, like a very abundant homestead from your home. You understand? This is just very good energy. You're about to be very... Um, it, it might... It like, like this could even mean marriage for you, Paul, number one. You might even get married soon or something. But this marriage... Yes, yes, like you're the two of cups, your shirt. But like this feels much more... In regards to... Your stability, like, I feel like you're, you're, it's kind of like you're, you're being married or merged with stability, with abundance, with safety, with sanctuary, with receiving, okay? And this, this world is like that, like that cycle completed. You're literally receiving some kind of uh, cup from the universe, okay? This two of cups, this is God giving you this cup, right? That's usually how I see uh, uh, these kinds of energies in my readings. Because it's never just this, like, worldly 3D experience, is it? It's always this, like, what the fuck, you know? If that's what you choose. And of course, that's what you would choose. But so... Anyway, Paul number one, um, you are about to receive some kind of eternal home or an eternal empire rather. Like, like this home, it's almost like having a home everywhere, you, you know, like having or not really having a home everywhere. It's kind of like having a home anywhere or but it's not the home like the home is more stability energy. It's empire energy. Again, like you, you're about to start experience this generational wealth, this spiritual generational wealth that you built, okay? As if an ancestor built it for you. I feel like that's it. For some of you, you might have some kind of um, energy, ten of pentacles, in regards to home or in regards to stability. The magician, king of pentacles, exactly. I feel like you need to be aware, Paul, number one, that quite frankly, I feel like this next level up is going to be everything for you, okay? Not to seem cliche, like 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 that tarot reader or whatever, but like power couple energy, um, abundance. Like, even if this is just with yourself, this union, like I said, right? Like, just like generational wealth, generational stability, 
you're going to be leaving something for uh, uh, for your children or you're going to be leaving something for your family like not in a deathly way in a in a way of like oh look i have all of this abundance or you know i'm getting a lot of like <laughs> I'm getting a lot of like tennis energy, like 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 rich people playing tennis or some shit. Not even golf, but like tennis or some shit. Okay, like I see people playing tennis. Like that's the kind of frequency. Like generational wealth. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. The moon, Knight of Wands. You don't see this generational wealth just suddenly exploding into your existence and experience. And don't be don't cling to it. Don't be afraid of it running out because that's the whole point. The only reason you're experiencing it now, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, is because it's already infinite. Hence why you're experiencing it as if an ancestor did it for you. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Well, thank you so much, Paul number one. That was your reading, please. Uh, please love me. Uh, I don't want to say please like and subscribe. I want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, donating, contacting me for a personal reading or session. Everything is in the description box down below. I shall see you again for no one tomorrow. Satnam ba. Satnam, Paul number two. The tortoise is protective in and of itself. So it's kind of like I maybe don't even need to cleanse the energy I'm hearing. The hermit, I'm also hearing whatever. Like I wanted to say, like maybe I'm not cleansing properly enough. That's why the, the readings tend to merge. But no, pile number two, you need to maybe watch pile number one because the tortoise is very abundant. And it is like, it, it represents immortality, it represents um, eternity, it represents eternal abundance, right? 12, 12. You need to, what you need to be aware of, like, in regards to, what is this level up, this power up, this... I feel like you're getting a two-in-one with the rhino and the elephant and the leaf. Maybe even a three-in-one, maybe even a four-in-one. Bitch... You're getting an infinity in one, okay? <laughs> mm. That's this level up. I feel like you're about to experience infinity within a singularity. Hmm. What's that? Queen of Pentacles. Definitely go check out poll number one. I feel like you're about to experience infinity within a singularity. So it's kind of like imagine having a genie with unlimited wishes or imagine having a gold coin that just like it, it doesn't matter if you throw it away if you give it away if you pay with it it always comes back and then it comes back two times you understand there's something very magical happening for you palm number two very magical okay a lot of magical abundance and like this infinity within the singularity is once again it's this like magical coin or it's this like magical like diamond or something or a magical seed or something the wheel of fortune i'm telling you you are i feel like you've been waiting or you've been in a very receptive energy like you planted seeds and you know when you plant seeds they grow right I feel like you are receiving, definitely check out poll number one. I feel like you are receiving, poll number one was all about receiving uh, like 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 generational wealth. That is what this Wheel of Fortune can be. But I feel like for you, poll number two, this, this generational wealth aspect has much more to do with like magical beings or aliens or something like that, okay? It's a little bit more cosmic maybe. But definitely check out poll number one. The Emperor. And death. Oh no. King of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Sun. Nine of Swords. King of Wands. The Fool. Temperance. Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> the Hangman. Judgment. 
King of Pentacles, the Magician. Yes, it's Justice, the Tower. There is so much intense energy here. All, all in just the lower deck. Like all of these cards just in the lower part of the deck. Go check out my uh, light language healing I did with Osiris Dionysus because that's exactly what this energy is. This emperor and death. This is Osiris energy. This is Dionysus energy. Uh, again, also with the seeds they have to grow when they're planted, especially if you planted them. Pong number two, this three in one, I feel like that you're receiving, okay? It's kind of like this Holy Trinity, like, like in ancient Egypt, they had their own version of the Trinity, which was Isis, Osiris, Horus, okay? This is giving me, this is giving me the consciousness of the three in one. It's life, death, and the afterlife. It's life, death, and like a victory over death, okay? This next upgrade that you are going through is going to allow you some kind of magical ability or like magical or spiritual authority over life and death over not just like abundance not just karma but the actual the existence of abundance or the existence of karma the existence of the wheel of fortune so <laughs> palm number one is is much more concentrated on stability and finances and like an empire or a home or uh something like that not to say that it's not spiritual but for you palm number two this is this is like like cross crossing the threshold of death okay and coming back better than ever right and because you were able to cross cross that thre that threshold you literally hold the wheel of fortune within your hands. Or you know what? You don't even hold the wheel of fortune in your hands. You tell the being that holds the wheel of fortune within their hands what to do. You understand? Your next level up, this, this upgrade, Paul number two, is the upgrade to end all upgrades. Literally. Okay, like I don't see how you're gonna I don't see how you're gonna like one up yourself this time. Paul number two, okay. <laughs> But it's okay. Because <sighs> somewhere, somehow, I feel like you're gonna. Okay? Nine of cups. Exactly. <clears throat> Magician as well. Ball number two, like... This is like being the world turtle, right? Like literally being the thing that carries all of creation. Or you're the thing watching. You're the you're the being. You're about to embody this energy. I'm like, fuck money, fuck hotels, fuck yachts, fuck private jets, fuck caviar, fuck traveling, even fuck everything. Okay, truly, truly. Compared to this consciousness, compared to you being in this consciousness of. Literally telling the being that holds the world in its hands what to do. That's the consciousness you're about to embody. That's your magical prowess, okay? If that was a little bit too woo-woo for you, obviously go check out poll number one. But poll number two, don't mistrust the woo-woo-ness, okay? You're about to... That's your level up. It's this permanent embodiment of this 
emperor like wooness, like literally being that. And you're like, it's almost unbelievable, but hey, it's happening. You understand? Thank you so much, Mama Mertu. That was your reading with the tortoise here. Please, you can say a podcast. Thank you for liking, subscribing, donating, contacting me for a personal reading slash session. Everything is in the description box down below. I will see you again tomorrow. Na ha stute she 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 na na ananta astuta ta ha ne ben. Satnam, Paul number four, for those of you who picked the desert rose. This is going to be your reading to see your next level up or upgrade. I feel like you're about to blossom or bloom or um, it's kind of like, like being irrigated, I irrigated like a farmland, right? I feel like you're about to reap a lot of rewards in a very barren or hostile environment slash situation, okay? I'm also hearing about each reward in and of itself is going to be blossoming or blooming. It's something about you manage to maybe manifest something or create some kind of frequency or energy that was able to withstand a very harsh energy or frequency. And so because of that, it's blooming really well or something. But also because it is so strong now, this frequency that you conjured up, because it is so strong now, it's gonna, each blessing in and of itself is blooming other blessings. Because like, again, the environment or the situation was very harsh, okay? A desert rose. Also something about believing as a child, like not believing as a child, there's something about you knowing as a child. The Two of Swords, it usually gives me this, this um, energy of, of, of the double slit experiment, right? It, 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 like, like your choice, your observation creates reality. <laughs> so depending on how you see the desert rise, you could literally see it as some kind of like just barren thing that's never green or whatever. Or you can see it as this thing that literally conquers death because it's like not even connected to the ground. But when you put water on it, it starts like blooming and blossoming. And from that kind of perspective, from that energy, you can create a lot of light and abundance. Part number three, I feel like your next level up, this level up you're going through, this upgrade you're going through has a lot to do with your mind, okay? I feel like your mind is shifting a lot. The way you perceive reality and the spaces you make choices from is shifting tremendously, okay? And because it's shifting tremendously, I feel like everything will be uh, becoming much more easy for you. Life will be becoming much more easy for you because you're in that double slit knowing of like, I create this. I wouldn't be surprised if the, if the Six of Cups shows itself as well, okay? Because I'm getting a lot of childlike knowing. Okay, Two of Swords, Three of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles, and the Lovers, oh my goodness. When I was talking about the double set, I was also thinking Seven of Swords. I was also thinking of the Lovers card. <coughs> There's the Six of Cups. Palm number three. I feel like your next, like this level up you're going through. It's literally, it like your, your mind is changing, okay? Your mind is changing. How you interact with everything is changing. I feel like it's kind of like the blueprint of your synapses are changing. It's kind of like the blueprint of how you operate on a, I want to say a brain wavelength, but
but like I don't want to constrict the energy to just the brain, you understand? It's kind of like the way you operate at a consciousness level is changing. There's a lot of like, like, like energies for you, pal number three, the magician, but again, that is what this desert rose is. It's like, is this energy, or is it actually like, what the fuck? How are you doing what you're doing? Do you understand? So I feel like your next upgrade or level up is quite frankly, especially with this lovers, I feel like you're going from this childlike belief to a childlike knowing. It's no longer going to be this thing of like, oh, wow, I manifested this because I just believed. Or da, 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 da. It's going to be a sense of like, I manifest this because. Yeah, the chariot, exactly. You understand. I manifest this because. It exists because I see it or because I choose it. You understand? I also feel like if you're in some kind of lover situation ship that you're not too sure of, or if you're in some kind of lover situation ship that, I don't know, that like makes you feel a certain just like weird vibe or something, that's going to be sorted out, okay? That energy is going to realign itself or something like that. But again, it has a lot to do, it has a lot to do with your own perspective, how you see this. Is this a Blair Desert Rose or is this a fucking Desert Rose? I feel like you're, you're about to feel very good about your... It's almost like what you managed to accomplish despite not having the strongest belief or the strongest knowing in self, okay? I feel like your mind is about to be very fucking powerful. That's what I feel. It's no longer the double slit experiment for you. It's the double slit knowing. Go Google the double slit experiment if you haven't. It has everything. Yeah, exactly. Seven of Cups. It has to do with quantum physics. Um, it, it literally shows our perspective when we observe something, when we observe reality at the quantum level, it changes. That's fucking crazy. Just that knowing is so fucking crazy. When we look at reality, it structures itself. Otherwise, it's fuck all. Otherwise, it's a wave. It's a, it's a potential. That's fucking crazy. So you're no longer in this energy of believing that. You're in an energy of embodying that or knowing that. If that is what you choose. And I feel like that's what you're choosing for number three, okay? So don't be dismayed or dissuaded or dissuaded or something. Again, the Six of Cups by the, the Desert Rose energy. Because it's not just a Desert Rose. It's a fucking Desert Rose. A thing that like literally is dead. I should go a a thing that is literally dead, but like, it just needs a little bit of water and then it lives again. Okay? See, Claire? I feel like your observation, your observer embodiment even, like... This juggling energy, it's not going to be juggling a situation with something good and bad. And, oh, no, what's happening? This juggling is like literally seeing infinity the whole time, all at once. You understand? Seeing into the quantum realm, like all at once, at the same time, forever kind of vibe. It's no longer a belief thing for you. It's just a, a, a be thing now. It's a no thing now. And that in and of itself is an amazing fucking blessing. Because you no longer have this mental struggle. You no longer have this emotional struggle. You no longer have a physical struggle. A heart struggle. You understand? <sighs> I'm hearing that like with this three of wands like... There's a whole fucking multiverse out there, you know, there's like, like there's a whole fucking multiverse in there, you understand what I'm saying? So, you're not even going to be juggling infinity with, 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 with finiteness. You're literally just going to be experiencing everything all at once via this quantum perspective, this quantum mind of yours. You're leveling up in your observer, creator, beingness. Ace of Swords, exactly. 
Thank you so much, Paul number three. That was your reading. Please do consider it now. Thank you for liking, subscribing, <laughs> donating, contacting me for a personal reading slash session. This is amazing energy. It's very fresh in the desert. It's a it's a, it's an alive thing in the fucking desert. Okay. I will see you again for tomorrow. For another one tomorrow. <laughs> For those of you who picked this quartz cluster, this is going to be a reading to see this upgrade, this level up, this, hmm. I feel like you're going to receive, interesting, you're going to receive some kind of like a burst of energy, because it's, it's kind of like, you're going to receive extra life force or extra energy or extra belief, extra mana, let's say, extra chi, that's going to like, propel you more it's gonna that like it's kind of like receiving life force in order for you to be able to create more life force if that makes sense okay so let's see for ball number four because the quartz like each quartz is a each point is like a, a, a powerful crystal on its own you know but together they like you know that's what i'm getting here so, what's happening for pile number four? You're getting an extra... I'm seeing the Ace of Wands in my mind. So, you're getting an extra burst of life force. Six of Cups. Okay, that can kind of be that, I guess. Five of Swords. The Three of Swords. Pile number three had the Three of Swords in the same... And the Two of Pentacles in the same position. But don't check out pile number three, okay? Unless you already did or unless you want to. Look at that. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, the Hermit, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the World, Two of Cups. I'm hearing yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's like yeah, 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 whatever. Just enjoy your blessings. God damn it. <laughs> you know. Ball number four. Mm. So, yeah, the Six of Cups can, can definitely also represent this, like, because the Six of Cups is all about healing. It's a, it's a very refreshing energy, okay? Especially with the Ace of Cups. You are receiving a brand new beginning. You are receiving... Very cool. You know what I'm getting with this? You are receiving extra life force. The Hermit, that's the star. You are receiving extra life force. It's almost like a volcano in the ocean creating land okay and then on that land start like like springs start sprouting and food stuff start growing and shit okay you're receiving extra life force ball number four in order to create more life force for yourself so like i want to call it a hips to it we call it in afrikaans a hips to it it's like like a just like a push you know just like a yeah you can do it yeah you know like a, like an extra burst of energy but it's so much more than that you're receiving You're receiving Paul number four. It's kind of like you're receiving the power of fire and water. Okay. And from that from that power you are able to create land and more water and more fire because the plants make rain and the the wood burns and wow i feel like you've you've you you yield from some kind of it's almost like healing from a lack of spiritual independence or healing from a lack of um energetic or life force uh self-creation or something like maybe you were dealing with a lot of childhood beliefs maybe you know that you thought you needed um certain things or you needed certain consciousnesses or situations or it could be the matrix you need a nine to five job or you know whatever 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 it is i feel like you're receiving this extra life force 
that's making you know for the fact that like all is well and that it's not just making you be able to start two brand new beginnings but it's 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 enabling you to like start two infinite brand new beginnings because they're going to be charging themselves or some shit you know and a tipu I'm getting something about like spiritual or energetic perpetual motion. This is like healing from a lack of the ability to be in spiritual perpetual motion. And perpetual motion is like infinite energy. People say it doesn't exist. Of course it exists. Back. The universe is in perpetual motion, you know, because energy doesn't, isn't destroyed. It just like changes its shape, right? It just changes form. So the whole of the multiverse existence is a perpetual motion thing. So upon before you're getting access to the power of fire and water, meaning you get access to the powers of creation, I feel like. I, I feel like I'm not doing this energy justice though, like, uh, just wait and see, you know, like, wait and experience it, it's going to be very amazing for you, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, you're, you're, you're getting, it's like you're getting infinite life force, because the Ace of Cups is infinite as well, always overflowing, ooh, that's your level up, Paul, number four, you're getting infinite life force, and you, you yield from this energy, this energy no matter how traumatic or how whatever or stuck it seemed, like this energy is fuck all compared to what you're leveling up into, what you're upgrading up into, what you're growing up into, okay? Yes, I can't like stop looking at that Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands energy. It's literally infinite energy just an overflow of, of 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 life force that you can do with what you want chi prana mana you can do with it whatever you want okay especially since you now have this yield uh this yield knowing of self this yield respect and love of self like i'm still seeing the star as well this yield um and balanced maybe even perspective in regards to the physical slash spiritual etc 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 okay two brand new infinite beginnings palm number four that's amazing ace of swords three brand new fucking beautiful beginnings fuck yeah see so there you have the wind as well and then you just make the the earth from the ace of wands plus the ace of cups then there you have the earth if you don't have it already, I actually feel like you do. You have two earths there. What? <laughs> Jesus. Amazing, okay? This is going to be amazing for you, Palmer 4. Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please you consider liking, subscribing, donating. No. Thank you for liking, subscribing, donating, contacting me for a personal reading slash session. <clears throat> Everything is in the description box down below. I will see you again for no one, for no one. Sat number.